I think it, it'd be great for our viewers, Vic, to know that there's a program and if they wanted to, to connect with you, you could email them um, if anybody was interested. Uh, and it's a 40-page program which really explains uh, jump cell rejuvenation, which you don't need product. It teaches you how to do this and you don't need product. If you want that, you could have it. It's the best in the world of its kind. For some conditions, well, yeah. might that really some be people recommended? Some make their own, others, will, just, others yeah. will be grateful enough to buy it because there's not, yeah. this is made in limited quantities, so there's not much available. Oh yes, but, uh, there are three substances which really are deficient. Uh, magnesium is the primary deficiency along with uh, pyridoxine and essential fatty acids of a proper matrix. Um, those are the three major elements that most everybody is deficient in. Uh, what you just held up was magnesium uh, in a monatomic state that comes from lithophil, so it comes from life and it's complex with humix and its own fulvix. Um, so it's terrific, it's, it's uh, colour active, photoactive, and uh, it'll turn some juices blue, some juices red, and it's absolutely what you need to have proper brunner gland function and to be able to cause calcium to remain more suspended in your blood. I got something I want to show you over here. You remember, you remember when we made this? Oh yeah. Uh, absolutely. That's a black gold. That's a substance which is terrific. What that does is it can uh, dissolve uh, chitin resonant sclerotin um, underneath the skin and in your body and it dissolves stone. So it's like a stone buster. Um, so 10 drops four times a day is so incredible. Uh, it's very anti-neoplastic and um, it's terrific. Uh, a small amount of that in your toolbox uh, will block and stop rust, for instance. Um, and uh, so, you know, it makes it a facelift. You can, it. You, it dissolves uh, stone underneath the skin and everything, yeah. But, and then other things that we make is also like balsamic and things, which maybe one day we should make a, talk a little bit about these things, yeah, more so. Uh, but well, that's this, a, yeah, this is a, an incredible this is all substance based, all, it's all food, but it's a real to help renew oh, and help build oh, tissue oh, back and cause microcirculation to come back for people. Yeah. Well, this is, this will dissolve anything that's not that's not meant to be there. It's, yeah, exactly, exactly. Dissolve stone around the pineal gland. Dissolve stone in the tissue if the face is saturated with it and then scraped, it rejuvenates the face, tightens up the connective tissue. It's truly miraculous, it's called black gold, yeah. Anyway, at some point we should talk about some of these things and how they have their effect and everything. Anyway, um, I wonder if there's any, any few more bits here, because I know our listeners probably only have 20 minute attention span. Well, the attention span was, uh... Is actually three seconds now. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the latest statistics, but we're we're down to three seconds. So we lost a lot of people early on, but for the ones that are still here, I commend you. You were probably very <laughs> Right. But a few people, you know, it's all it takes to change their own world, right? We're just yeah. People just the world. Um, they don't have they don't have the tools. That's the problem, and because they don't have the tools, they go to the hospital, they go see the doctor, the doctor says, I got the tools. If you don't have the tools, I got the tools. The tools are gonna cost you, but I got them. <laughs> and then later you come to find out that the tools were really dull and shitty, and you paid a lot of money for it. And that would have been all okay, but it was a little invasive, and that you can never get back. It's your own, you know, once you lose your body, uh, you can't really quite get it back. Unless there are there are some products here that will bring a half dead horse back to life. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I saw was how most death occurs, you know, uh, because a dysbiosis happens with the life colloid in the intestine when temperature isn't kept at that 
uh, 98.6 degrees, it drops and the core temperature then causes Firmicude and l friens life colloid to become more turned and become a greater number in the intestine than it would ordinarily be. When that happens, a pyrogenic molecule is released which heats the body and that creates a fever. And, you know, I only ever saw just material that was spent from a cell, but I never saw anything that was ever in any contagious condition. And um, let me, let me yeah. ask you this, let me ask you this. It's not contagious in the sense that we don't subscribe to germ theory, but maybe if somebody develops a dysbiotic condition, they, that they that their spore, double spore, becomes a parasitic form, right? In your own body, you made your own parasite of what was God-given and beautiful. But you made a parasite, it's floating around in your blood. You're probably going to sneeze it on somebody else, and then they're going to get that parasite. Yeah, and but you see, no, it doesn't work that way. Whatever you want. That yeah, but you see, this is all mixing germ theory in. It's like starting out with something that comes from outside the body, which it doesn't, you see. A piece of steel will break down into bacteria. And your body... Are, are people getting sick by resonance? Is it resonance that's making people ill? Not, not actual inhalation of pathogen, but actual resonance? No, but, you know, all of those things are a bit of stresses and things, really. Uh, but it would be wise for people to know that, that there's no such thing as anything contagious at all. No. And so uh, did, yeah. any disease well, that what, goes what, on, what unless you know that the useful theory of a spore and that you can be aware that protein can be found as bands, which in a useful condition, in a pleomorphic symbiotic relation. So pleomorphic meaning many changing and symbiosis meaning mutual lived assisted condition. And that's what you find in nature. So when the terrain is changed, uh, you can cause things to become into alignment, but without the terrain being changed, you can't see anything coming into alignment there because you've got a conductivity that has to exist, just like you need air. Life colloid require an environment around itself and you have to have conductivity. So that's one benchmark. Another benchmark is negative redox, which is your capacity to be able to um, have antioxidant. And then another benchmark is your acid alkaline range, your parts of hydrogen. And these three benchmarks cause you to have a life colloid terrain. And if you keep your life colloid terrain good, it's perfect. And if it isn't, it isn't. And when cold comes on, high pressure zone is, and your body can ferment more easy and acid is released in that condition and fermentive forms of uh, more aerobic glycolysis can go on in your intestine. And when your temperature reduces, potassium can't be kept by your blood. And so pyrogenic molecule is released that creates fever and that can affect your intestine and your lungs. If you don't have proper cell salts like you're holding up, the body can be exhausted by the things that go on where your blood gets thickened by pyrogenic molecule and endothelial cells aren't able to respire and oxygenate like they should. And so that's what the flu is. The flu is really a cleansing going on and triggered by body temperature having been dropped you know, for some few hours and someone being compromised in some way and that is all that's needed really to cause someone to have a fever. Right. Mm -hmm.